Dude, Ricardo's team. Welcome back, Bro. friends. We got the meme action top of the this Ricardo. Ricardo's team is the most powerful team in OU. So that's a Mega Steelix, probably. I think Ricardo has to win for his team. Taurus is pretty clean. <laughs> NJMP. NJMP said, what is this? This isn't heat. Seb is lame. So Mega Aerodactyl, Mega Steelix. So that's some... That are two cool Megas. So let me look, let me look. It's Scarfic T or Scarf Kelio. You think it's uh, Z Move Magena or Z Move Lando? Mm -mm -mm, let me see. He likes to use the Z Move Lando a lot. So I could see like some some meme action. Um, either Z Move Como, maybe Z Belly Drum. Um. Also, um, the Aqua Ring gives Suicune like plus one defense. I don't know if he would run that, like Ricardo. Dude, this this is like they're talking in the chat. They're not playing. What did I say? Let me read. <laughs> you fucking scum! I have Taurus Steelix. <laughs> I got food like Gypsy. Hurry up, noob. I mean, he probably has memes in the sets. Like maybe the sets are. I mean, it's probably expert. It's probably just expert belt Victini, calm mind like Life Orb Keldeo, probably like Shift Gear Magirna and fucking Pursuit Aerodactyl and like. So he has no scoffer then. But yeah, probably it's memes. Like, I don't know. This is just. I can see this lander is either being like Life Orb. I think I think one of the. Ice. I think the Keldeo that Victini has to be CR. I mean, there's no telling, cause top top tier boy, he he can build some pretty cool stuff. I mean, I don't, I think, I think Matty Brolic gave him the team, but not sure. The manager. But yeah, the, uh, I assume we're gonna see Stealth Rocks. Oh, Ice Fang, goodbye. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't the Kelly on the rocks? Man's got played turn two already, turn three. Not on two was that. So Kelly doesn't really you have if the if the Suicune is offensive, Kelly doesn't have good Suicune. Like I could I don't know if it would be a meme Suicune, but it's probably just a fat Suicune. Probably Vincun. You think maybe. it's um toxic spikes Greninja with sub toxic protect Vincun thing? Yeah. Not protect, sub toxic. Sub protect god, I can talk. So I could see substitute uh, Como or can't spore coma O because it's ability unless he's a uh, huh the other ability. What? It you can't use sound move against the No, that's the bad ability. There's a good ability to where sludge bomb doesn't affect it, shadow ball doesn't affect it. That that's uh, what I said. It... That's what I said. Soundproof, you can't use sound moves. Oh you mean bulletproof. Does that prevent you from no, getting I'm, how I'm thinking of overcoat. How does overcoat. yeah bullet it, it has overcoat, yeah, but like bulletproof helps you versus like uh, yeah yeah shadow ball like he said on sludge bump, pretty nice Gengar check if they don't run sludge wave. Like he's gonna quit spore here, so. I mean this if could this be this could be substitute Z uh, belly drum. I I don't even know how to narrate this because I don't know what these teams are. I mean it's wild. I uh, like the Tauros is probably um mixed with like fire blast, yeah. so that's specs I think. He did so much. That's specs. Oh why did he sludge bump? Do he, does he not know how this works? So is this offensive, Amoongus? No, the Amoongus is defensive. It's just Specs flamethrower. Why did that flamethrower do so much though? No, that's not a stab. I, I calc, I calc for you. It's modest coma, oh, dude. You, you, this thing is strong. I've used it. So um, standard offensive period in OU. Modest. Did I miss any terms so far? No. Okay, top. Uh, Ricardo switches into a Suicune. So Modest Flamethrower does um, 53 to 63 to um, Spadef Among Us. So that was maybe like a 5th Dev Among Us or Offensive Among Us. But he went Aerodactyl and probably, sp probably confirming that it's Specs because Top T Boy can tell the set. Because he knows his Among Us spread. I don't know his Among Us spread. So yeah, he can just f 
try to burn the Mongus or actually just beat the Mongus when we want. So if he breaks the Mongus, he can substitute here and then he can call mine. If he's that sad. <laughs> nice nickname, by the way. I don't really see how Top Tier Boy can win at the moment, but. He's kind of in the back right now. That's probably Defog Aerodactyl, right? If he's um, Focus Blast, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, Shift Gear, Magirna, then he can like pull this back late game pretty easily. Yeah, but. Hmm. Actually, the Steelix took some chip damage. But what hidden power was that turn one that the Steelix got hit by? Yeah, call mine. Power GG. Ice. Was fun. It's a free skull here, pretty much. Yeah. Um, the Mungus is too low. Oh, was it, no was it hidden power eyes? Oh, so that Steelix was that offensive? I actually don't want to count now because I, I already missed the turn. Like, I don't see why he wouldn't skull here. <sighs> what, what did I want to calc against Steelix versus Lando? I don't know if he would have defogged there unless he had like an outs to not losing to the Suicune. There's, he's got to have. I some mean, his Victini away. can have trick, but if he substitutes up, that doesn't help him. So he gets some chip damage with every lathe. Did, did he not have Stone Edge? Did he not want to risk Stone Edge? I'm taking the activity when I do DC. I mean, I don't think he can win anyway. So yeah, let me let me calc versus like offensive landers. How much I think would do? Why do you go this? Defensive Steelix only does fifty-one to sixty-one with minus one. I guess this was. The if it's not specs, this is gonna bounce off. Bounce. Yeah, this is doing no damage. But this is Vincoon, so it shouldn't have rest. So whatever damage is done to it is damage. Yeah, so he makes the right play and saves his <laughs> squeak. Reaver, Reaver IRL. So oh. It's either Z-move, like you said, or some expert build. Probably Z-move. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so I guess I this thought it was like Majorna. extra sensory Greninja. Actually, the Majorna has to be a Solvest. Look at, like, because the Among Us was like more fist dev, I think. Yeah, yeah, see, that's what I said earlier. T Spikes plus Win Kun, yeah. Ooh, predicted. Oh, pump there. Because either gunks or extra sensories, you lose nothing from pump. Yeah. Ooh, is it Z Happy oh. Hour or is it. Oh, Shadow Psyche. Goodbye. Get normal. Oh, man. You think he's gonna 6 0 him? I don't think so, but like. He, he, nah, nah. He'll I'm get, not gonna six on. He'll give him one this kill, little... maybe. Um. This, the T spikes don't really do much, though. Cause like, well. Yeah, they just get absorbed. You just go to Magirna and Volt and uh, Amoongus and like remove them, or I guess Ricardo can like prevent the vaulting into Amoongus, so he can, he can um. What would you go? I guess you'd go Steel. Yeah, Steelix seems like a fine play here, actually. Oh, NGMP, no, just, NGMP like, tech this people. That's what I already thought this game then. Goodbye, my views. So he doubled into a Moongus. Well, it was fun. It have, was fun. GG. Yeah. So this if is, he had Volt Switch, that could have been a little better. Probably off three attacks, Greninja. Excel Sensory, Hidden Power, Toxic Spikes, Hydro Pump, or something. This has got to be Rock Polish, Life Orb. Swords Dance Victini to pull this back, and you gotta dodge like a pump. <laughs> I guess, I guess it is a six zero, because he should have went Magirna there. Oh, if he if he went for Bolt Strike there, that would have been a flex. <laughs> yeah. I mean. <laughs> You can shift gear if he has it here, but... I mean, Earthquake is gonna do decent damage. Is she shift gear, Magina can win. Yeah, that said that earlier. Yeah. It's Thunderbolt Ice Beam Focus Blast. It, it, it can win. 
like pretty easily. Like if it gets the boost up. It doesn't even really need a boost because you just you just gotta if you have fighting Z, if you got the fight Z move. I mean, I think he has to be assault vest Medina. Like looking at the team. So does U turn kill? No, you turn crit from Victini to ten. You turn from Landers doesn't kill. I don't think. Okay, he's getting rocks up. So. And then, I mean, he's HP icing. He probably. He's. I guess he is the Magirna set. Cause like he doesn't have a scarf, or it looks like, unless this is Scarf Victini. So. so I think it's Scarf Victini. What is this and why is it winning? Oh, what the that, fuck is this and why is it winning? That's a okay Volcarona check, I guess. Because they don't run, run Bug Buzz and plus one hidden power ground. Yeah, yeah. Korea made a team with Victini. Was banned. But if they get rocks up, then all they gotta do is set up and force. I mean, yeah, Victini like uh, Aerodactyl is a decent Volcarona check too. Well, Doesn't Fire him? He just blow it away. Does he U turn? Uh, does he U turn here with the? No, they they don't really want Fire MZ and also doesn't it doesn't it doesn't blow it away. It's resisted. Aerodactyl has decent. Okay, it has okay bull. But yeah, Fuigun should outspeed the Landris. Do you don't protect it because you don't want him getting up rocks. What the fuck is this? That's why the hidden power did so much. There's some max special attack landers shit. Should die. <laughs> yeah, I think my boy dropped, drip, drip, dropped back and can talk. But yeah, we'll see if he fixes all of them. Um, that specs? How's that specs? That did nothing. Nice chip damage, dude. <laughs> like, if he goes Victini, he can just protect to see what it locks itself into if it's choice. So, like, I don't see the win condition. <laughs> win condition is like cut his internet now. Calm mind up. On the shift gear, because he, he shift gear there breaking the protect, I assume. So, he can protect now to get more lefties. Exactly. On a brick break. What the fuck is this? Physical Magirna. I I mentioned the set in my Moveset video before Sun and Moon came out, and it's like the worst set ever. I don't know why you would ever run this, but it's like some meme shit, definitely, yeah. Dude, I saw that on ladder, and it was like plus three or plus four. And brick break still did no damage, like, or Iron Head to my Mag. Like, it still couldn't do anything to my Mega Scissor plus three. What the fuck is this game, dude? I mean, I know it would be wild, but I didn't expect the six though. Even though I thought that I probably like, I assume Ricardo would win. That's what I was going off, and he gets the burn. He's probably just gonna scald again here. Actually, he doesn't. He doesn't have to because he got the burn now. Since this is a physical Magina, he can protect, and this doesn't do anything. Like, yeah, he makes the prediction, but since you burn, unless you, I don't think Magina doesn't learn rest because I wanted to run a command rest Magina and it doesn't learn it. Learn Magina. It's Z move, okay. So it's probably okay. Z brick break. That did the nice zero. So if it wasn't burned, it would have done 56. Maybe he wouldn't have gotten six out if he got the if he avoided the burn there. Yeah, Z Magina can learn rest. I double checked it. I don't know. It has to like substitute the Victini. Has to substitute and protect it to like. But he showed U turn, so it's definitely like choice. <laughs> He's not substitute. Yeah, Magina gets sacked off, and I could see him both striking here, trying to predict the Suicune to prevent the 6 0. Oh. Because this boy is gonna be. Actually, he'll just go Como over here to see what he locks himself into. Who doesn't preserve? Just kidding, it's fine. Like, Como would have been fine at a thing, I think. Maybe to preserve the six, so. but they might have also gone to it. Gear, I don't know how bulky. And she Komo has decent defenses, but yeah, this is a minus defense Victini, so it's 
just gonna drop to this scald. He only wins five. I could have won six though. But yeah, this this is the the, the score is four and four now. I mean he hexed him a little bit. But definitely not game changing I feel. Yeah that D-Spack with the Greninja early was just to flex, I guess. Didn't really do anything. <laughs> We'll check the thread real quick. Actually, I don't want to go to the thread because I don't want to spoil that one game that I haven't recorded yet and I will probably record a replay of it because it was only 20 turns and I think they played on main. So I missed that game. It was like hyper offense versus like Kovac, Marvel, Balance or Bulky offense. But anyway, the Ricardo picks up a pretty easy victory here if I do say so. Um. Kind of disappointing. I wanted a close game, but I don't know if you guys know like the the backstory to this game between these. Like these are two friends. Actually, I don't know if they're friends anymore because they made like videos where they were like kind of beefing or like I don't know how to call it. I might link the videos in the description or like in general their channels. If I don't forget, and did I say anything? Did I forget anything? So yeah, this is BBC Kings, which is many bollocks team. Um, yeah, top DIY plays for them. And yeah, Ricardo plays for, I think for Anti's team. I can double check here. Oh yeah, was, I'm uploading this game at the moment. Teal got subbed out versus Pearl. So the score was like four and three in the favor of... The favor of which team? I don't remember. Okay, let's, let's just recall. So it's... Two and two. Three and two. And what was the score of this game again? Three and three. Four three for BBC Kings. And Ricardo, Ricardo won, so he made it four and four. So if I'm not mistaken, the week was four and four now. Yeah, exactly. I don't know why I forgot that. And the other, the other games... Riscuff is lost, I uploaded that earlier. I think the score is like... Those three are one, those three are one, but I didn't see the games. Psychic me to one, so it's three and two. I recorded that three and three. So I think the NJMP Ninjas won this week five and three. They, I think, yeah, Petlop is on their team, so that's cool. I guess he's benched. I don't know if he has to be benched or if, he, if they said, "Ah, you're not playing anymore, Petlop. You fucked up." Just kidding. But yeah, they're meant by Zomok and Benge, I think. And I always forget the manager for this team. My bad. I know this is managed by P2, here's some high guys, and this is managed by Blunder and... Oh yeah, some man Poik is also managing, I don't remember which team though. Oh yeah, I think Blunder is managing with Tokyo Tom. And the score here, I don't know the score, I don't know the result from Google vs Tsunami, I think Tsunami lost. So it would be 3 and 4, and I don't know, Solon vs Cal... I think Solon won, so I think this they also played 4 and 4. So like 2... two um. Teams played 4 and 4 and the only team that really won is like the NJMP Ninjas. Thank you guys for watching and <laughs> my boy T just dropped in the middle of the video. Darkwitch signing out. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, yeah. Kind of hard to narrate this because of some wild sets but definitely fun to watch. Peace out guys.